poem. Sir Alan Wasserman. Alan Wasserman is a multi-talented, charming, funny, handsome, stage, film, and television actor. He has 40 years as a writer, published several award-winning short stories. Alan is featured in TV stage with 100 in credits to his fame name. <laughs> and Alan can be seen playing around town in the Alan Wasserman Jazz Ensemble for the first time with us. Let's have it, Alan Wasserman! I've actually come back in Toronto, I've got to tell you. And I've never done anything like this before, so you have a 62-year-old virgin tonight, so be gentle. <laughs> This is going, and uh, the assignment was, was uh, fearless, so this is my contribution. Fearless is called standing up. I want to die standing up. <laughs> Not curled up in the fetal position in abject fear in the corner. Not lying down horizontal struggling for my last breath. Not in the arms of some unknown health care provider. <laughs> I want to die standing up, yeah. like a king, like yeah. a man, yeah. like an artist, like a soldier, like a sentry, like a guard dog, like a gargoyle. I want to die standing up. I want to be surrounded by those who care, who stand me up, who prop me up and help me take my last look, my last breath. Hold my hand, hug me, and help me transition into whatever's next. I want to die standing up. Be there for me. Answer my call. Grant me my request, help me. I'm asking for your help. I want to die standing up. I want to know the poem, but I have a little, very, very short thing I wrote today for Father's Day, if that's okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, please. On my uh, phone that I can barely see it is uh, Father's Day. When I was 13, my dad was 63, and he was concerned about how long he would be around. And when we were alone, he would calmly remind me, you know, I ain't going to be here forever. <laughs> well, he lived to be 88, and we settled all our differences long before he passed. Now, I'm practically his age uh, that he was, when he gently reminded me that life has an end. And as I sat in the shade today, in the breeze, under a tree in Farnsworth Park in Alabama, with my pooch Murray at my side, I can feel Pop's presence. It's strong. I see him in the mirror when I shave. I hear his voice and intonations of his voice and my voice. It is in my heart, in my memory. I can access him regularly and quote him almost daily. The love and the bond is breakable and never expires. I can find.